एवरीवन दिस इज संजय कुवर वेलकम बैक फॉर लर्निंग इंग्लिश सब्जेक्ट इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी स्टडीड अ पोएम हाउ डोथ द लिटिल बीजी बी रिटर्न बाय आइसेक वैट्स नाउ डे स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द सेकेंड पोएम हाउ डोथ द लिटिल क्रोकोडाइल रिटर्न बाय लेविस कैरोल Lewis Carroll was an English novelist and a poet. He is best known as the author of the children's book Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. His poem How Do the Little Crocodile uh, appears in this novel. It is a parody on the original poem How Do the Little Bee Bee. Now, dear students, a question might be raised in your mind. What is a parody? Yes, a parody is a playful comic imitation of a writer's style. Now, dear students, let's read the whole poem. First stanza: How does the little crocodile improve his shining tail and pour the waters of the Nile? on every golden scale second stanza how cheerfully he seems to grin how neatly spreads his claws and welcome his fishes in with gently smiling jaws so dear students this poem is a comical or humorous imitation of the original poem how do the little bc be now Uh, let's study the whole poem stanza wise the first stanza how do the little crocodile improve his shining tail and pour the waters of the nile on every golden scale dear students in this stanza the poet is talking about the crocodile that lives in the river nile Do you know which is the longest river in the world? Yes, the Nile is the longest river in the world. The poet tells us that the crocodile improves his looks by pouring water on his body. It shines and the scales appears golden under the rays of the sun. He tries to make his body shiny and beautiful. so that the little fishes may get attracted towards him now dear students let's read the second stanza of the poem how cheerfully he seems to grin how neatly spreads his claws and welcomes little fishes in with gently smiling jaws dear students in this second stanza of the poem the poet describes that the crocodile smiles cheerfully and spreads his claws neatly he welcomes little fishes with gentle smile but his smile is not the real smile it's fake his real intention is to attract the little innocent fishes once they come in his mouth he eats them and finally here his bad intention towards them works out now let us see the new words used in this poem first doth doth means does cheerfully happily grin smile jaws mouth dear students through this poem the poet wants to draw our attention to the various people in the world who outwardly seem friendly but wait for an opportunity to strike at such innocent people so the poet wants us to be very very careful while dealing with such people we should keep away from such a bad intended people now dear students let's study the poetic devices used by the poet in this poem first let's see the figures of speech the first figure of speech which is used here by the poet that is personification 
here in this poem the animal crocodile is personified it has given the human quality of welcoming fishes with gentle smile the second figure of speech used in the last two line of the poem is alliteration because here in this last two lines the sound of the letter w is repeated for the poetic effect now dear students let's see the rhyming words used in this poem first crocodile nile tell scale green in and clause judge 